to work here at this administration and telling someone, I check a bunch of boxes, but I also check invisible ones too and coming out for the first time. New York has a history of inviting people from all walks of life, from all parts of the world. It's a Mecca. Here I could really be who I wanted to be without judgment or fear. Pride has always been bringing people together and it's also a struggle and a continued protest. Around the country, we are seeing attacks on the transgender community, especially for people of color. We've had quite a bit of violence against the queer community over the last few years. Hustle and pushing through to survive, it, it's always in every New Yorker. It's part of what makes New York, New York, but I think especially that is really in the DNA of the queer community. What we want to make sure people know, especially young people, is that New York City has your back and we are always going to be here for you. No matter what is happening elsewhere, when their value is questioned or challenged, New York City is their place and they belong here. And the number of people that come here without a dime to their name or a sense of where they're going to go, it's our job as a city and particularly in the government to make sure the resources and the support networks for, for that acceptance actually materialize. History in this city, when it comes to our community, is just so rich and so full and so robust. Achieving equal rights for LGBTQ plus Americans, that movement really began here in New York City. We have Stonewall. It's still a cultural anchor. When marriage equality became the law of the land, to have the community collectively to come together and celebrate that love is love was absolutely powerful. New York City Pride was one of the first events that I went to after coming out. It's an unbelievable experience. You feel that you belong. It's really important that New York City continue to be a leader. We need each other. These rights are essential to our humanity. Just looking at many of the queer youth that I engage with on a pretty daily basis, I see a hope for a better future that's going to be really led by them. They can get whatever treatments or health care or counseling resources they need, but they can also build a life here and have some fun and have economic opportunity. We're not only a beacon of hope, but we want to be that welcoming rainbow. We want you here. We are going to speak out for you. They have LGBTQ ancestors that are literally lifting them up in anything that they want to do and that it is possible here.